Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Andrew Schultz on Sean King canceling Jesus. Let's see what everyone has to say. <clears throat> Let me just clear my throat before we get into this one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, watch out, because Sean King is coming. This week, transracial civil rights activist Sean King, or as some of you know him, Talcum X, tried to cancel the... <laughs> I mean, we just jumped right on in there. Eight seconds in, we've called this man transracial and Talcum X. am un-okay. I'm un-okay. Um, I, I'm gonna keep listening before I even open my mouth. Uh, uh, this week, transracial civil rights activist Sean King, or as some of you know him, Talcum X, tried to cancel the most hateful, violent, evil, racist of them all. Jesus? Yeah. Shamrock Obama tried to take down the King of Kings, the white one specifically. Unfortunately for him, he's 2,000 years later, what's commonly referred to as CPT. Pale Sharpton tweeted the statues of the white European. What did that say for CPT? Later, what's commonly referred to as CPT. CPT. Because the other, I only know CP time. I've never heard it called CPT. It's usually just CP time, but... Do your thing. Go off. Go off, Andrew. Pale Sharpton tweeted, the statues of the white European Jesus should come down. They are a form of white supremacy and always have been. First of all, for someone who crucifies white people for a living, I assume he'd appreciate the imagery. Secondly... <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, what do I know of Sean King? I do not know his um, ethnic background his dna makeup i don't know his percentage of what is what but by looking at him you can tell he is of some mixed races i guess i don't know um which is why i guess we started off so hot by calling him <laughs> transracial um, the first time I actually heard that term transracial or transracially, one of my really good friends in college, she was transracially adopted. She and her twin sister are black and they were adopted by a white couple. And um, she was the first person who ever introduced me to that concept. And I know today more than ever, I mean, this was years ago, this is like back in 2006. Um, it's more commonly heard now. Um, I get why he said it. I think it's hilarious. I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> what I know of Sean King, and, and this is this is a blanketed statement, I try to stay away from most polarizing opinions on social media, especially if they are not, um, they're more be opinion based and not actually based on some fact. Um, he's one of those people that sometimes I agree with him and sometimes I don't. and. I'm okay with that. Like, I don't, I don't hate him. Don't love him. I don't know him. You know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things. It's like, sometimes he'll say stuff and I'm like, oh, okay. And by say stuff, I will catch wind of something he said through like someone posting something. I don't follow him or anything like that. Um, just for me, this, his type of content is so um, over stimulating for me because it always tends to feel really negative. And I don't know if that's his intention, but I think he's always covering really sad things really awful things and they get blown you know people everyone's got their opinions and it's just like uh, for me in order to keep the peace that I need in my life I just stay away from that type of content in general not just his um but I know he is super controversial with a lot of people he's very 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 pro uh black I don't want to speak on the black lives matter thing because I'm not sure where he stands on that but I just I know like he's been threatened and his family's had death threats like all kind of stuff because of the stances that he takes um and I don't I don't really have an opinion all I can say is like when you believe in something or some things and you have the passion sometimes this is what it turns into <laughs> I think um Andrew Schultz is hilarious 
And I've heard this Jesus conversation for many, 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 many years now. Growing up, I think I thought Jesus was white because those were all the images I ever saw. And then you grow up and you realize based on the region alone that Jesus was brought up in, it's highly unlikely that he had a fair skin tone. And I think, you know, is it impossible? No, because there are people as light as Sean King that are black just like I am. So I don't think it's impossible, but I, but I do understand the um, likelihood that his skin was more melanated than we see. And his hair was maybe a bit more uh, coarse and kinky than we see. We've, we, we were raised to see as someone who literally thought Jesus was white her whole life. So uh, anyway, I have rambled. Let's keep listening. He kind of has a point. Certain groups have used Christianity to oppress people, slave traders, the KKK, jewelers. But white Jesus is always a form of white supremacy. Martin Luther Cream, what the fuck are you talking oh about? Oh my God, Sean says, name. in the Bible, when Jesus wanted to hide, he went to Egypt, not Denmark. That is true. Probably because Denmark, Denmark didn't wasn't exist. a place. But I think the brilliant <laughs> revelation Thurgood Marshmallow was trying to make is that oh Jesus my wasn't white. Hey, Sean, no shit. He was from Nazareth, a.k.a. Palestine, a.k.a. future Israel. He looked more like Osama bin Laden than Jared Leto. You know what? But I don't think it's fair to say no shiz because, I mean, you Google the imagery of Jesus and you don't see a darker skinned Jesus. So that's not fair to just say no shiz. That's not a no shiz thing. A lot of people, people who believe in Jesus don't think, don't have that proper imagery because of what is out there. So though these names are hilarious, I don't think he can say it like no crap because it's like I don't think I don't think it's a no crap like duh situation. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people believe that Jesus has fair skin. Jesus had to walk on water because the TSA wouldn't let him through. Here's an accurate mock-up of Jesus. He looks like quarantine DJ Khaled. Oh I don't know if that's the son gosh. of God, but I know for certain he has white sauce hot sauce. So, Sean oh. is technically white. I mean, right. Europeans did transform the image of Jesus to make him look like he owns a gay... The white sauce, the highest sauce, the halal food. Oh my gosh, I love that sauce on any halal food, period. But then, come on, like... He's so quick. He's so quick. It's like hard to catch his, 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 his it, the whole thing is full of shade. It's so fast though. Technically white. I mean, right. Europeans Technically did transform white. the image of Jesus to make him look like he owns a gay cupcake shop. Obviously he wasn't some bearded, long haired white guy. Whoa, Chris, you spooked me there is what those girls said. But did they make Jesus white to oppress minorities? No, they did it to convert white people. Turns out you can get way more followers if the people you represent think you're one of them. You know what I mean, Sean? Now. I know what some of you are thinking. If that's the case, other cultures would have done it too. And you know- Okay, let me know if you agree with what he said. The reason why he feels like the image of Jesus was portrayed as this blue eyed, blonde hair person versus what he probably actually did really look like based on region and like where he actually came from. Um, I think that was interesting what he just said. I think that was super interesting. I, I read something not too long ago that said, way more people and people meaning of any race creed color background are willing to follow a white pastor than they are willing to follow a black pastor and i feel like maybe that sentiment can be interchangeable with more people are were willing and more comfortable back then to follow a white jesus versus a black jesus given just the connotation of skin color and the history of it all. Um, but I'm I'm curious to know what you guys think. You know what I mean? I just, I wonder. Um, all opinions are welcome here, as long as they are done respectfully. You know what? They did. All of them. Jesus gets contextualized by every culture he goes to. Right. Check this out. Here's right. Asian Jesus looking sad because he'll never right. live up to his parents' expectations. Here's Ethiopian Jesus taking fashion trips from Nancy Pelosi. Here's oh, Indian no. Jesus who's just regular Jesus with... I just want to go on the record and say whoever Jesus allowed taking fashion trips from Nancy Pelosi. this photo op, fire them, fire them. Whoever, oh, this, this photo op, I remember the day I saw this. I was like, oh, no, 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 no,
more of a why than a no, maybe like, why? Why was this the decision? <laughs> not to mention, it looks like she has like a sock on her face, not even a real mask. What is covering her face? And it's like falling off her nose. That's hilarious. We'll see. Here's Indian <laughs> Jesus, who's just regular Jesus with four arms. How the fuck did they crucify him? Is this Here's true? Jesus, yeah. RuPaul. And Ru knows exactly where he got the drag race from. Look, Jesus ah, ah, prefers ah. whatever culture he's in. Andrew, you're so wildly inappropriate. We all know where he got the drag race from. Oh, Lord. That was exactly me. where he got the drag race from. I Look, Jesus can't. reflects whatever culture he's in. So caucus Garvey, I don't understand why you're coming at white Jesus specifically. If anything, white Jesus should be coming at you. You stole his whole business model. Present yourself as a different race to attract more followers. Collect donations with shady accounting and tell everyone that the- I want to go on the record and say that was not Jesus' business model. Jesus did not tell people how to depict him. So slow down there, buddy. Uh, but I get what he's saying. I also think like people like Sean King and I'm saying people like him cause there are tons of people on whatever side you lean towards, believe in, agree with, I don't care, but people who just like are asked their opinion and then they give their opinion and everyone's like, well, who asked you? And it's like, well, no, actually this is from an interview. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like people seek out his, his, his opinion because they, um, hold him to some regard or some esteem. So I don't know. I just think sometimes like people like him and other um, social media political influencers get like harped on. But it's like, but people do ask for their opinion. People do want to hear what they have to say. Um, and I don't know. <laughs> but don't go around saying Jesus made himself look like this to us. Like Jesus didn't have anything to do with this. Jesus didn't sit down and draw a picture of himself. ...self is a different race to attract more followers. Collect donations with shady accounting and tell everyone that the white guy that raised you isn't your real dad? At least white Jesus had the decency to cover for his mom. Look. Oh, my God. Sean, I 100% agree that people have used Jesus to do fucked up shit, but to claim that every white Jesus is white supremacy is just dumb. Real white supremacy is occupying land that isn't yours, segregating it, naming it Chaz. Also, Chaz? That doesn't sound like a socialist utopia. It sounds like a lacrosse player you wouldn't leave around your sister. The first depictions of white Jesus are almost 1,800 years old. No, I said almost 1,800 years old. Go away, Chris. Long oh, before who modern is this race Chris guy? even existed. It was so long ago, white people were still enslaving white people. Imagine how shitty that soul food was. I agree. A church in Africa doesn't need some Coachella mushroom dealer Jesus. So how about instead of canceling white Jesus, we make more black Jesus. Instead of destroying the stained glass, we just add more stain. No. Now look, right. I'm not gonna discredit Sean King completely. He does more for social justice than me, and he actually brings attention to some really important issues, but this one- Right, right. Like, he does do, there are good things, and he does do a lot of work, more work than I think any one of us commentating about it right now. Those of us that are leaving comments or me commentating will ever do. Um, and so in that case, it's like, do we have space to talk? I don't know. I'm just glad that Andrew did acknowledge that because it's like, you can say what you want to say, but this man has helped many people, many families. Um, and I know there's also people who think he's, you know, fraudulent and all that stuff. That is for Jesus and Jesus alone to judge. It's not, I have no idea about that. <laughs> One, he's doing too much. First of all, who is Snow J. Simpson even talking to? People that don't want to remove Confederate statues are not even going to think about removing white Jesus. Right. It actually works against Black Lives Matter because now the detractors can honestly say, first they'll tear down the Confederates and then they'll tear down Jesus. Secondly, it's confusing. You're comparing images of racist, treasonous people with the epitome of hope, compassion, and love. In this case, it seems like W.E.B. DeBlonde wants attention more than he wants change. Listen, Rose A. Parks, you've dedicated your life to fighting for people's constitutional rights. Freedom oh. of religion is one of those rights. So you should encourage people to worship any version of Jesus they want, even Jewish Jesus. I agree with that. I agree with that. And I don't know how serious he is or if he's about to take a turn and be super sarcastic, but I agree with that. I think at the end of the day, right, like Jesus is not... The image of Jesus is not what we should be worshiping anyway. If it, Again, if you're new here, I am very much so a Christian, a believer of Christ, and a follower of Christ. Uh, I don't worship a, a photo. 
I, that's just not like, so that's why, like when I said, like, I grew up thinking Jesus was white. It's like, it didn't really change what Jesus was to me or for me because Jesus isn't a picture. Um, at least not for me. Some might, some might bow down and worship a photo, do your thing, teach his own, but it's more of his, his, his foundational concepts and the things, the love, the hope, like he was just saying that he's, he's meant to put out in the world. And I said this recently on my Beyonce vlog over on Patreon, I went to the Beyonce concert and outside the concert were the picketers who were out there with the signs telling every one of us going into the concert that we were going to hell. And just the, 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 the wrath, the anger, the literal fuming coming out of this man's mouth. Like it just was like, first of all, no one paid him any attention. Second of all, I don't know what his intention was, but you would think if you're out there doing that, then you would want to help people find Christ, believe in Christ, discover Christ, want to hear from you. But when you are spewing out hate, which is nothing in any way, shape or form, what God would ever want, do, liked, uh, promoted, how do you expect to get positive reaction back from that? Like I didn't, I didn't see anyone out there like, oh, I'm selling my tickets because Jesus, like, you know what I mean? Like no one out there's lives were changed. If anything, everyone was just like, and this is why Christians are idiots. Like, you know what I mean? Like he didn't do any, any advancement toward the kingdom. He pushed people further away because hate cannot breed love. It'll never breed love. It'll never bring love. It'll never foster love. It'll just foster more hate. And so what that did, this man and his friends with their signs would make people hate him or make people look at him crazy or make people hate Christians or make people think poorly of Christians because that is not representative of Jesus. Neither is a picture of any colored person, like any purple, green, yellow, orange, you know what I mean? No color of a person is representative of what the actual messaging is. And so I think that's really important that he said that um, because while it seems as he's saying Sean King is cru crusading to take down white Jesus, it's like, why don't, why don't we just, aren't there bigger fish to fry? And I think I agree. It's like, aren't there bigger fish to fry? If we're gonna go after white supremacy, <laughs> aren't there like other things we could be upset about? I don't know. I don't know, uh, but I hope Sean King saw this just for all the nicknames that he was he was referred to in this video because it's hilarious. My rights, so you should encourage people to worship any version of Jesus they want, even Jewish Jesus. That's just Jesus, right? <sighs> you know what this week has been a massive overcorrection from Chaz Dork's cancel in America to just I don't know Bieber about this Chaz thing. Sexual assault. The internet mob is swift brutal and doesn't give a fuck about the truth if the lie is more interesting Facts. and you know what that's what we get Facts. we solely communicate through platforms that are built for information not investigation i don't see too many memes about context or nuance out there and how can you even get nuance in 280 characters how can we expect real conversation and dialogue on an instagram post these platforms are great for a lot of things, but they've created a major issue. The speed of allegation is so much faster than the speed of investigation. And don't get me wrong, we wow. should listen to allegations when they wow. come up. That but we deep. must also listen to the rebuttal with the same intensity. I mean, we're at a place where people are guilty until proven innocent. Mm -hmm. And even if they're vindicated, the apology is always much quieter than the accusation. Mm -hmm. So if you keep canceling- Wow, we at the church of uh, Sir Schultz. Is this Pastor Schultz? He's preaching right now. He's so right. He's so right. He's so right. And in, in a country where justice should be above all and innocent until proven guilty, everything is quite literally the opposite, especially in the court of public opinion. Like, he's so right. Indicated the apology is always much quieter than the accusation. So if you keep canceling people, be careful. Because as soon as you step out of line, they're coming for your ass. And there will be no forgiveness. Lucky for you, Sean. You know who does forgive? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Peace. Oh, yeah, that whole canceling thing is not exempt of anyone. Like, you could be canceling someone on Thursday, and by Monday, you're canceled. Like, it's crazy. I love these sit-downs with him. I wonder who. I wonder if he writes them himself or, like, if it's a team of people. I think there's just... I think, they're they're well written for what they are um i don't think they're meant to be taken a hundred percent seriously but i do think he makes some really good points and that was that was a good one
let me know your thoughts again respectfully um you know teach us on do your thing go and have the day you deserve peace